Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-July of 2024, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus Placements. And we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're connecting to a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. We also have the Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like maybe you're in a situation or you're going to be seeing some sort of transformation uh, between you and other people mid-July. Um, my chair is falling apart. Um, literally falling apart. Anyway... I kind of feel like this time of the month for you, um, Aquarius, is going to be all about resolving some sort of conflict. Uh, maybe right now there is a little bit of a breaking apart, if you will, of some sort of dynamic or maybe even a relationship between you and somebody else. Maybe you're dealing with a divine feminine energy. Maybe you're dealing with another air sign. But this could easily be your energy versus the energy of the other person that you're connecting with or dealing with kind of feels like there has been maybe some um, lack of understanding or lack of communication or seeing things from the same perspective. I kind of feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, there's a lot of promise here in that it just feels like there is um, a need to see this from a more logical perspective. Kind of like somebody could have been focusing on the wrong things in the recent past and that was where the difference was. Like maybe you were trying to see this you know, in a long-term perspective, the other person was thinking more short-term, more fast-paced. So I feel like there is a solution here. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. If anything, I feel like what, why the, the reason why this is coming through for your mid-July energy is because the resolution or the outcome is very significant because it is going to be positive um, and could potentially also lead to you know a very big breakthrough in this connection or dynamic or partnership um, we have the ten of wands four of pentacles and the devil which is capricorn maybe with the devil what you're really seeing in mid-july is that you are able to remove almost the you know source of the toxicity negativity you know the bad apple that is creating the conflict i feel like this is what you're going to be able to remove walk away from or simply kind of um you know see out of the situation and then with the four of pentacles and the ten of wands right now you know i feel like the focus is not losing the vision not losing the reason why you're in this together All right so instead of this ten of wands being normally the energy of having too much on your plate or feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders i'm seeing this as don't let go you know don't lose your your grip on this right keep holding on and then with the four of pentacles protect your energy you know at all costs remember your reason why protect your energy create the necessary boundaries that need to be created and then that's how you will remove the bad energy from the situation because to see that ten of pentacles there is so much potential here there is so much good that is you know going to come out of this situation then we have the six of cups so it could even be between you and someone that you are very close to someone that you have a history with a relationship with you know it feels like this is something that is worth fighting for worth you know seeing through to the end all right let's go ahead and clarify the queen of wands We have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. I kind of feel like with the Magician, maybe someone has been manifesting some sort of a, you know, path in their lives. We have the Emperor, Six of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. I kind of feel like with the Magician, maybe you're connecting to somebody that has their own vision or their own um, idea right now of what they want to do. Maybe this is about the fact that you are now trying to decide, you know, can I, can I move 
um, in this direction with this person? You know, can I see myself? Do I share the same vision? Maybe right now what's happening is you're trying to find out if you're also okay with this. You know, if this is something you also want to do. Kind of like you don't want to just go along for the ride. You want to have the same, you know, you want to have the same desire for the destination, right? You want to both be there. So almost like the universe is saying, Aquarius, don't force yourself to do something, right? Don't force yourself to want something that maybe you don't really want or that just doesn't come to you. Maybe the universe is trying to push you in this direction so that you can connect to what really resonates and not what feels forced. Maybe with the Knight of Pentacles, this is also about the fact that right now you are getting comfortable with the idea of things moving differently, maybe more slowly, maybe in a different direction. Maybe right now the universe is saying, let's not rush the process. Maybe we shouldn't rush it at all. Um, and then with the Emperor, it kind of goes back to maybe that energy of someone um, wanting to control or maybe wanting to, you know, enforce their side of, of you know, their point of view, right, of the situation. So. Uh, be careful that you're not following others, you know, because you feel like you have to. Um, almost like someone could be expecting you to follow them because of where they're at, because of their position or their role. Maybe if this is work-related, someone could be pressuring you, kind of like if they are, you know, your boss or an authority. I feel like maybe even with the magician, the universe is saying here, Aquarius, you can manifest your own way through this. You don't have to follow you know, the other person right behind the magician is the five of cups. So almost like you could avoid, you know, feeling that sense of sadness uh, because you're not doing what really aligns with you by creating your own path. Because some of you already may even feel like you would be unhappy if you simply followed in someone else's footsteps rather than creating your own. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the nine of pentacles. And we have the Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like you are very empowered and very motivated to um, kind of find your truth here. I feel like a lot of you are seeking truth. You're seeking, you know, the feeling of being aligned, right? And this situation could be bringing out the truths where you're realizing, okay, I'm not, I'm not aligning with this, but I know that I could align with something different. So I feel like you're, you're really looking for that truth. You're motivated to find the answers and you will, you know, this set, this nine of pentacles is you having that confidence, having that ability to find your way through it. And we have the king of wands, the world and the strength, which is Leo. So Aquarius, if anything, I feel like the universe is saying, be brave in tackling this new adventure um, for yourself without feeling like you have to, you know, do it with somebody else or get approval or I don't know. I just kind of feel like you need to give yourself more credit right now. You need to give yourself more, you know, self-love or just, just more of maybe even self-acceptance. I don't know if, you know, that is a term that we really use but I feel like you need to accept that you are you know almost like built for this journey that you're about to go on like you are um you know you need to accept that you can do it that you do have the ability you do have what it takes almost like some some of you and this is not going to resonate with everybody but it kind of feels like in order to survive in some way you've had to live through the eyes of another person or in the shadows of another person and I kind of feel like this is the beginning of an awakening where it's like you feeling your your own self-worth and recognizing what you're capable of and being confident in that is going to just change your your whole world your whole life you know but it really starts with being you know comfortable in the idea of exposing that and sharing that and being brave in your truth, in yourself. And I feel like we could take this even deeper, but I'm going to leave it here. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.